<laughs> You're going to like what I've got for you this time. <laughs> My friend will come with him, money. Yes, Louis, you told me that yesterday. Look, your father promised delivery by the first of the month. What happens? You arrive sans greenbacks with some cock and bull story about an airstrike. This, uh, this amuses you, yes. I mean, you keep me here. Air security on the land, that's all. Hmm? Hello, Teddy. Ah, nice to see you, Brian. Nice, you. nice one. Interest me. Glad to hear it. Look, if you want to continue doing business with us, you go along with it. But I said I would be there at the airport. Well, I'm sure your friend knows the address of the hotel. My son's looking out for him. When he arrives, you can go. When she arrives. Huh? A female courier. How charming. What are you doing here? I'm so sorry, the meeting went on forever. But that was two hours ago. I mean, you could have phoned or something. All we've done today is just walk. Oh, they're wonderful. But, we'll but you really shouldn't have bothered. So They'll well. die in the bathroom. I don't. they got to be work around here somewhere. But it seems like I can't get the right place at the right time. We've done a lot of so. yard work. And Am I forgiven now? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Nothing went wrong. Oh, there was some bloke who was watching me at the airport. Probably fancy you, that's all. He was more interested in what was in that case than me. What am I doing, Lewis, carrying that lot through customs? It's a straightforward business deal. Three years I've spent getting. Creo que así era, yeah? I told you, Ken was just there collecting something. Did he ask about me? Of course he didn't. We had other things to discuss. Such as? You may find this hard to believe, my love, but when a divorced woman meets an old friend of her ex husband, she doesn't immediately start waxing lyrical about her boyfriend. So, how is the ex-husband? Oh, <laughs> he's doing all right. He's on his way to becoming the Charles Forte of the West Midlands. <laughs> oh, Lewis, it's very funny. What do you want from me, Alison? I pay for you to come on this trip? You paid for me to carry that case full of money from Barcelona to England. But you offer. Because I didn't want you to get arrested. It will be safer that way. I wish you'd stop treating me like a kid. Oh, it's so cold in here, Lewis. English hotel rooms are always cold. Once. Oh, that was years ago. If it was years ago, why bring it up? Because I thought you'd be interested. I am to have spent most of my life here. I am not interested in hearing about your ex-husband and the hotels which you visited together. Don't be ridiculous! You can't expect me to wipe out 15 years of marriage. I have to see Rawlings till I'm late. What about lunch? Ring up the ex-husband. It's what you came back for, isn't it? I'm leaving on the plane this evening. If you want to stay, that's fine by me. Senorita, por favor, I need to leave this for I need to leave this for one hour. The name is Luis Perez, okay? Yes, I'll just Luis Perez. I'll be back with you. Luis Perez. Oh, sir. We have a Mr. Hip. Edward, as tall a feature handling, you know, not Chateau Wagga Wagga. Ah, we're seriously thinking of sending out a person. This is as promised. The deal is finished. 15,000 in pesetas? Claro. My father has repaid the loan in full. We pay us our men of our word. Yes, our man. Though it tends to lose a bit in translation. The money is all there. Nothing like the smell of money. Well, they don't teach them anything at Stowe. I won't be long. I just want you to help me count the dots. What the hell's going on?
Alison. Dale. But it had my name on it. Why did you give it to her? I'm sorry, but I don't see what all the fuss is about. Where did she go with the bag? Tell me where. No, Davido was. Oh, good afternoon, sir. Harry Crawford, proprietor. Uh, can I get you a porter? No, Harry Crawford. You can get me Alison. I'm Luis Perez. There's nothing between us. She came to talk to me. She came and she went. When did she come and go? Did she have an overnight bag with her? A bag? She took my overnight bag by mistake. No, she didn't have a bag with her. She came for a chat, like I told you, not to stay the bloody night. She comes to England to see you. She leaves the case with you. It's simply. Now, listen, son. I'm prepared to accept that my ex-wife might be in love with you. I mean, we're all entitled to make mistakes. But storming in here and crying foul all over the place like bloody Maradona just because you've lost your suitcase is beginning to get right up my nose. Maradona is Argentino. Same difference from my side of the water, mate. See, the problem with you, English. I can see why your wife left you. You better get out before I really lose my temper. Yes, Linda. Uh, uh, Mr. Marsden in reception. He says he's got an appointment. I'm so glad that you need. I am looking for a small overnight bag. I think it was left here. Well, I can check at the desk. Well, somebody must have seen it. It's very important. Mr. Rawlings. Oh, yeah. The new tax laws may only be at the white paper stage today, but tomorrow, tomorrow they could be in the statute book. I'm not interested in the bloody tax laws. What does he think he's doing? Just a moment. Where the bloody hell are you going? Uh, uh, the fiscal strategists are predicting that these laws will apply to the self-employed... Alison, <laughs> leave it, Lewis. Who is Perez? Alison's geezer. Huh? Who is this Black Rawlingston? And why has he kidnapped Alison? And what's more to the point, where's the bloody money? I don't and uh, know. I put it in a small overnight bag and leave it in the reception of the Strathallen Hotel. Yeah, so where is it now, sunshine? I don't know. They said Alison took it. I asked him, but he knows nothing about it. Of course I don't know anything about it. What's Rawlingston got to do with all this? He, he, he is a business partner of my father's. I was repaying a loan he made us. And you're trying to shortchange him? It was an impulse. Impulse? Do you know where he is now? Impulse, Harry, come on. Look, I know it was wrong to take the money, but I thought I had you lost it. You landed did didn't you? I, I, I did not mean no, for it. Right. Just shut up, will you? We don't want to call the police. Rocky, stay here. Look, you're the one who wanted the money in cash. You blow the whistle on this, you'll be the first to help with their inquiry. But he can tell you promise. Hey, come on, come on. It's no time for the big shootout. Calm down. Lewis. Little kid, did you? are not helping the situation. There's nothing in writing about this agreement. And if it's a case of my word against yours. Lo siento, pero it, it was because I thought you had left me. Me? It's killed my nostalgia for Birmingham. <laughs> Goodbye, Aaron. You've been swell. The only thing to do? In the circumstances, I mean. You must come and visit Barcelona. Sure, it won't be a bit dull for me. <laughs> Go on, better get off. Harry, I, uh, I don't know why you've done this for me. Huh? Oh, 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 oh. Susan renegotiating the alimony. So just think, somewhere in England is my overnight bag with my pyjamas, my cigarettes. Central Airways, departure to Barcelona. And 5,000 pounds in pesetas. Of course, Harry! It's in the loo! Lewis's! Okay. Lewis's bag with the money! What? It's in the loo! Get, the lady! Where? 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 The coach, honey! But, but my 5,000! My 5,000? But, 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 but you already paid three! Yeah, well, you got to take account of the falling exchange rate. Well, come on, get moving! I'll tell you what, I'll split it down the middle with you. Asta, what's that word? La Vista. La Vista. Of course, I'll send it to you. Registered post, Barcelona.